Nolagent here at Stella. Get stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. Are you looking for Italian food and the best pizza in New Orleans? Join us in this episode of our New Orleans restaurant review videos as we visit Stella Pizzeria and Restaurant to experience the good stuff in here. Stella Pizzeria and Restaurant is located in the greater New Orleans suburb of Metairie at 4421 Clearview Parkway, which is about 18 minutes and 11 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This New Orleans pizza and Italian restaurant is noted for their gourmet pizzas, salads, wraps, sandwiches, and pasta. We continue our best food quest as first we feast with me through New Orleans restaurants looking for the best New Orleans Sicilian and Italian food and the best New Orleans restaurants. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So Stella Pizzeria certainly has a difference in appearance between its nighttime and daytime look. During the nighttime, you get this purplish glowy haze inside. So the daytime is much more bright and you have a lot more daylight coming in. So you definitely get a much different experience between daytime and nighttime dining in here. So you will uh, see in this video how it's a much different lighting experience and you get a much different sort of appearance about how everything looks at here. So you get this really interesting purplish glow there and here in the daytime, a much different look about this place. So let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So we have gourmet pizzas with big cheesy quattro pizza, chicken spinach alfredo pizza, garlic chicken pizza, el fresco pizza, veggie fresco pizza, Godfather pizza, Hawaiian Tropicana pizza, margarita pizza, meat lovers pizza, shrimp Florence pizza, Stella Supremo pizza, meatball poncha train, barbecue chicken and bacon, Roma special, that you can create your own pizza with a selection of regular toppings and premium toppings. Then we have appetizers with mozzarella empanada, spinach artichoke dip, chicken wings, traditional hummus, dressed hummus, cheesy breadsticks, extra pita, then a kid's menu with kid's pepperoni pizza, kid's chicken tenders with fries, kid's spaghetti and meatballs, kid's cheese pizza, and garlic bread. On the other side of the menu, we have salads with Greek salad, Caesar salad, garden salad, Italian salad, cob salad, chicken avocado fiesta salad, caprese salad, grilled chicken Caesar salad, wraps and pitas, chicken Caesar wrap, veggie fresco wrap, shrimp pesto milano wrap, meatball poncha train wrap, chicken avocado fiesta wrap, chicken gyro, and lamb gyro. Then we have sandwiches served with fries with a grilled chicken Caesar sandwich, grilled Parmesan sandwich, meatball poncha train sandwich, chicken bacon ranch sandwich, Roma special, barbecue chicken and bacon sandwich, chicken avocado fiesta sandwich, then pasta, chicken bacon carbonara pasta, spaghetti and meatballs, fettuccine alfredo, pesto fettuccine, classic lasagna, chicken Parmesan pasta, garlic bread, and side of meatballs. Then we have our side dish options with garlic bread, garlic parmesan fries, cheese fries, french fries, extra sauce, desserts, tiramisu, triple chocolate mousse cake, cheesecake, cannoli, beverages, two liter soda can, and homemade iced tea. So I decided to get the large veggie fresco pizza, which comes with a garlic butter sauce that I substituted for a marinara sauce, spinach, mushrooms, red onions, kalamata olives, and mozzarella cheese, and then I also added meatballs. Oh, look here. They've got some nice big slices here and some ooey gooey cheese. Ooh. Okay, let's dig in and see how the slice of pizza is. I've actually never eaten here before. This is my first dining experience in Stella Pizzeria. The first taste of their pizza I've ever had right here. Look at all that wonderful ooey gooey cheese. And, uh, hmm, okay, so the flavor's good. I would say the uh, lower bottom crust is a little softer than I prefer my pizza. I like a little more crunchiness in that lower portion of the pizza crust. So it's a very soft pizza. I can very easily fold it and uh, does not have a lot of structural integrity without me folding it over like this. So it's very floppy on its own until you flip it over and get a double layer. Then it holds together pretty well. So it is a much more soft, doughy kind of texture and not a crispy, crunchy kind of texture. I like mine a little more on the crunchier side. This one's a little soft for my preference, but it's still 
overall a pretty decent slice of pizza as far as the way a pizza can go these days. So if you're in that range of wanting a soft, doughy pizza, this might be for you. If you wanted them on that uh, crunchier side, they might need to put in the oven a little bit longer for uh, people like me that like a little more of that crunch. Okay, slice number two. And here we go. Ho, 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 ho. It's going down quick and easy. So it's certainly not at all a challenging pizza to eat. I was a little scared it was gonna burn my tongue. It was so hot looking when it first uh, came out of the oven and all that steam and everything was coming off of it and the ooey gooey cheesiness was certainly showing some heat levels, but it's actually a perfect temperature for chowing down on right here. Ooh, okay, so the crust, white, fluffy. There's definitely more chewiness on the edge crust than the lower part of the pizza, so that's a nice contrast. Then just a few little toppings fell off that we gotta take down real quick, and now, just like I've totally destroyed this pizza, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below let me know what you thought about this pizza. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account, as I do work for tips, and I really appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip for two people was $30.29. So after my dinner experience, I came back for lunch, and I got this appetizer meatball here. Oh, yeah. Let's try these out. Oh, okay. These are nice-looking little meatballs, and of course, the most important part is how do they taste? So here we go. And here's the first bite after I get them cooled down with blowing, and mmm. Okay, so there's some pretty decent flavors in these meatballs. They're a little on the crumblier side when I bite into them, so they are piping hot, and they got uh, overall some good flavors there. So my dining companion already took down the other meatball, and I'm polishing up the remainder here. So just like I totally destroyed these meatballs, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about these meatballs. And while you're down there, go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So for this meal, I wanted to try out their margarita pizzas. I'm always curious about how a margarita pizza tastes at any pizza joint. So this one looks like it is uh, not as ooey gooey quite to the level that the last pizza we had was. And here we go with a bite, and uh, let's see, it's okay. I have to say though, right off the bat, this is not by any close stretch of the imagination my favorite margarita pizza I've ever had. Um, I have to say this is probably one of my least favorite margarita pizzas I think I've ever experienced. This is just not hitting all the high notes of what I want my margarita pizza to be. It's all right though. So just like I've totally destroyed this pizza, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this margarita pizza. And while you're down there, make sure to check out things to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total for two people before tip was $30.73. So I came back for lunch again as I wanted to try some of the pasta specials and my pasta came with this wonderful looking salad. Whoa, -ho -ho. A little balsamic vinaigrette on there and wow, this is quite a beautiful looking and impressive salad. There is a whole lot going on here. There's so many wonderful toppings added onto this salad. There's just a whole bunch of stuff going on here for just a salad that comes with your main entree. This looks uh, much more like an entree salad itself. Lots of wonderful olives, and ooh, I do love some olives on my salad, so this thing was fantastic all the way to the last bite. So now, just like I totally destroyed this salad, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this salad. And while you're down there, go ahead and check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So can you guess what kind of pasta I got here? If you said lasagna, you would be right. So this is uh, quite a large serving of lasagna here. I think I might be kind of full after this lunch. Whoa, -ho -ho. okay, there's a lot of ooey gooeyness and heat coming off of this lasagna. Hopefully I'm not gonna burn my mouth when I do my first bite here. Here we go, there's a lot of ooey gooey melted cheese going everywhere. And oh, there we go. It's all nice, cheesy, and delicious with that sauce of this delicious marinara in there. So we've got all the perfect components of a good lasagna, the good noodles, the ooey gooey cheese, and a nice red sauce. So it's coming together quite nicely. Now I have to say though, I don't really see any meat at all in here. I don't know if this is more of a vegetarian lasagna 
uh, or just very light on the meat, but so far I'm not really detecting any meat whatsoever for the most part. It seems to just be cheese and sauce and noodles, which, uh, you know, that's perfectly decent, uh, although generally in the New Orleans area we tend to have meat in our lasagna for the most part. Now this is definitely uh, got some good flavors going on. It certainly has all those good textures you want to get on a lasagna, and I'm taking it down quick and easily. So we are not having any trouble going through destroying this lasagna quite efficiently. And this is, uh, you know, definitely a uh, little more of a huge side of bread as well. So these are some very large pieces of bread that go with this lasagna. Whoa, but we have a lot of uh, good sauciness to soak up with this bread. So here we go, and uh, you know, it's pretty decent bread overall. It's got a uh, nice little garlicky uh, butter on it as well. So there's some good stuff going on here. When I get this bread all mixed up with the sauce, it makes for a good flavor combination. And the bread is certainly a good vehicle to carry some of that leftover sauce and ooey gooey cheesiness to make for a whole nother experience here. So it's like a, basically a lasagna pizza, I suppose I'm having here for the most part. So this is uh, much better than not having anything left at all other than your fork to try to scrape everything up out of the leftover sauce and cheesiness in the bottom of the plate here. So this is a very convenient way to efficiently get your plate as clean as possible and not waste any of this delicious stuff that's down here in the plate. So uh, this is definitely a good way to finish the meal off and we're taking it down quickly, easily, and efficiently. So, overall, I'd say this is a pretty good lasagna. I've had a whole lot better lasagna overall, so I would say it's a little below average if I compare it to the overall Greater New Orleans area experiences I've had with other lasagnas, because all of those just had a whole lot more meat and were just, uh, to my palate, more delicious, I'd say. This was pretty basic. So now, just like I totally destroyed this lasagna, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this lasagna. While you're down there, make sure to check out things to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total for just me was $16.90 before tip. So thanks so much to everybody at Stella Pizzeria, and thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagen channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts who would enjoy it, as it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.